Well now, how are we doing everyone? Welcome back once more to the purple website. I hope you're having a fine Wednesday. Seems like you all are. Kyo, you got your arm is sore from the booster. I need to schedule mine still. Now that I'm finally allowed to. Or, or I'm finally in a category of folks who are cleared for it. How are we doing with the smoke in the PNW? I mean, it's it's smoky. <laughs> It's kind of that time of year where somewhere, either like California or British Columbia, like somewhere on this coast is on fire. And we're kind of covered in smoke as a result. Granted, not nearly as large a problem as the folks who are dealing with the fire. So not meaning to really complain. It just gets a little smoky is all. Hello. Hello all and welcome. I hope you're in the mood for a little bit more Pokemon because that's what we're doing. We didn't quite, quite beat the second gym yesterday. Well, we didn't even start, but we got to the gym. And I really feel like we should at least achieve that much and get Bulbasaur to want to join us. Then I feel like I'll be reasonably satisfied with the amount of footage I have from this one. And we can move on. And yeah, we are definitely here to listen to Super Bit Crushed Pikachu through the Game Boy sound chip. A treat for us all. Well, let's go ahead and... Alright, the music's nice, but let's go ahead and just swap over to it for fun. Which is what we are here to have. Gotta figure out a good way to, uh, <laughs> fade out that music rather than just having to manually do it each time or just abruptly stopping it like I just did. <laughs> ah, here we go once again. Well, so last we left, uh, left off, as you may recall, We've got our lineup of Pikachu, Porkchop, Grubbles, Lord Nido, Charmander, and Turnip. Charmander we just got, so level 10. Also, utterly useless for the gym we're about to go into, but we'll just have him in the lineup anyway. Hmm. Now we could go charge right into the gym and see if our level, what, 17, 18 Pikachu is enough to carry us through with a 16 Grubbles as backup? And a 12 turn. Let's go level some, huh? <laughs> you can remove Pikachu from your party, but if you do, honestly, it kind of feels like why are you playing Pokemon Yellow? I mean, it's got a few other things going for it, but especially, like, for our purposes, for the animation side of things, like, follower Pikachu is where pretty much all the new animation is. No, oh, you totally can, though. You can totally put Pikachu in the box. Or the computer. Hard drive. You can hard drive your Pikachu if you want to. But, like, all of the animation additions in this game are entirely Pikachu-based. Pikachu following you around, the variety of little, um, reactions like that, or Pikachu popping up here with different emotions. Separation anxiety, Pikachu, which I didn't know was a thing until y'all pointed out, it out to me last night. Y'all have all seen this, right? I'm doing it again, just because it's cute. So, like, Pikachu does a unique thing. Like, if you just stand around, if I don't move for a while, 
Uh, Pikachu will just kind of, like, look around. Be a little bored. Which is cute. Just face some different directions every now and then. Trying to find something entertaining. But if you jump down a ledge, but only one space so Pikachu doesn't follow you. Pikachu do actually does something different, and it's great. So we'll just leave it there for a second. Have a sip of coffee, and then Pikachu will start looking around, and then just fidgeting. It's like, ah, ah, what do I do? What do I do? Where'd you go? <laughs> and start, like, dancing and being all, like, a. Uh, just a different little animation thing they do. That's so cute. That's really one benefit I've now found to capturing footage for New Frame Plus videos on stream. If there's something about a game that I'm not aware of that has some cool animation in it, there's a pretty good odds of, like, folks in chat knowing about it and being able to mention it and point me toward it. It's very helpful. Because, yeah, I'd never even heard of this. And it's the only way I'm aware of to make that happen. To make Pikachu play, like, a different, unique animation while following you. I don't think... Well, no, we can go a little bit more northward here. Should we, though? Alright, so, like, what's our... What's our grinding objectives here? Pikachu being a little bit higher, closer to 20, would rock. 18's probably enough to do a lot of damage inside the water gym, and fighting the trainers on the way up to the gym leader will probably cover us for Pikachu's continued leveling. But if we could get Grubbles, our Butterfree, up a little higher. Lord Nito doesn't fight. This we've established. Turnip could also be a real force to be reckoned with in there if they weren't level 12. Maybe we should put Turnip up front for a bit. Have I talked to Pikachu and Pikachu had a status ailment? Ooh, I haven't done that one yet. Good thinking. If we get a status ailment, I'll turn the recording on. Be sure to grab that one. If you ever get... Uh, if you get cut, you should go back to Jigglypuff in the Poké Center of Peter City and listen to Jigglypuff, then walk away without speaking to Pikachu. I think you can abandon Sleepy Pikachu. <laughs> we did talk to the, uh, we did talk to the Jigglypuff, and Pikachu, like, started snoozing and did the little snooze animation. I didn't know you could just walk away, although that does kind of make sense. Oh, Charmander's called Charmander just because I figured, so, like, again, I'm capturing this for a video later, and the reason I wanted to get far enough to at least get to some of the original starters that you can just have join your party in this one, is that I would love for the viewer's sake of New Frame Plus when I'm mentioning, hey, and also you can get the starters uh, in Pokemon Yellow just in your party. Visually, like, that information is going to communicate a lot faster if I can show them a menu that has Pokemon named Charmander and Bulbasaur and Squirtle instead of, like, Water Gun, <laughs> Green Grass, and fire lizard or whatever else, else we came up with. Honestly, I'd like... If I really, really like being good about that, we would just be sticking to no nicknames at all and just straight up super vanilla, just call them by their species. That would also probably help me learn all these species names better, but nicknames are fun, aren't they? We haven't got the Bulbasaur in town lately. I think it's really... Oh, neither have we gotten a bell sprout. Hello. This isn't going to work. <laughs> Let's bring in a friend. Like, the, I've generally found, like, the more you can cut out extraneous visual or audio data in a video essay, the more... the more easily you can communicate what you're saying and be, have it be immediately understood. We're gonna try one ember and regret it. Oh, no, it's fine. We are level 10, I guess. Yeah! It's going great. Now... 
Get in the ball, please. But yeah, like, the less extraneous visual data you can throw at the viewer in a video essay, the more clearly you can convey your idea, the more they can, like, keep following along. Because if you if you accidentally, like, kind of throw them out of sync a little bit, if you throw some extra data in there that kind of, like, distracts them, they may start losing... They may stop focusing on what you're saying for a second and instead focus on what you're showing them. And if that happens, they may miss a sentence or two. It, like, it's it's kind of, like, really fiddly perfectionist stuff, but it's it's that kind of thing, I think, that makes a video essay flow so naturally and not feel long is if you're able to just like ride the wave of following that information and it just the pacing of it feels uh good throughout like that that's the sort of thing that i think makes a long video essay really engaging and stay engaging uh prefers hot and humid places it ensnares tiny insects with its vines and devours them all right folks it's naming time What do we call our other plant Pokemon who we're going to be abandoning the instant this Bulbasaur is convinced to like us? Venus, Big Gulp. <laughs> Big Gulp might have to be it. Uh, Bean, Azrael, Audrey, Pepper. Ah, oh, these are all very good. Audrey the Bellsprout, Pepper the Bellsprout <laughs> versus zombies. <laughs> Sundew, Isabel. All right, Isabel's also pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty torn between Big Gulp and Isabel here. <laughs> All right. No, Big Gulp's too good. Points for Big Gulp. Big Gulp was transferred to someone's PC, never to be heard from again. Oh, hey, Arish. Nice of you to come help me level my uh, Charmander here. I don't know if this is a good patch of grass to be leveling our Oddish in. Maybe we should go fight some more of the trainers on the way up to Bill, assuming there are more. Oh yeah, you can find Abra maybe sometimes in this patch of grass. Which I would do, but since I'm not planning a full playthrough of this at this time, like, there's no way I'm going to get far enough to where that Abra becomes even halfway useful. <laughs> it's like, it'd be similar to catching a Magikarp. If I were playing a full game, yeah, absolutely I'm getting that Magikarp evolved. But since I'm only getting like two or three gems in at most, what even is the point? Oh, there's a lot of trainers past the bridge? Phenomenal. Charmander, please stop beeping at me, I know. I know, buddy. You did great. All right, let's heal our Charmander and then just start fighting trainers. That's gonna get Oddish leveled up way faster. You had to pause the Splatoon video to come behold this. <laughs> Am I throwing out too much content? on a daily basis at this point. Is this getting out of hand? Half joking, half sincere. <laughs> yes, but also no. I'll take it. <laughs> I'd be up for doing more Splatoon. That also seems like a good stream game, yeah? Like, it seems like Splatoon should be all streaming unless for some weird reason we decided to do, like, Splatoon story mode, which, honestly, you could kind of do. Then that seems... That's, that's YouTube material. This amount of content is getting me behind on Final Fantasy videos. Same, in some ways. Although it's also going to help, because, uh... I think as soon as we hit Affiliate, which shouldn't take much longer, I think just a couple more streams uh, should do it. And then however long it takes for the Affiliate switch to actually switch on. 
Um, all right, you're the one who gave me Charmander. I won't fight you then. As soon as we hit affiliate, I think I'll uh, start prepping for doing a big Final Fantasy V playthrough recording here. As step one in the progress of making the next Final Fantasy animation analysis video. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I'm ready. Yes, the whole game. I recorded the whole thing like a few years ago. As I, like, I played through the entire series and recorded it before even getting started making videos for the Final Fantasy series. But the Super Nintendo footage, I'm not super happy with the quality on. So I played through four again in preparation for making the four video. And I'm glad I did, because I actually noticed a few more aspects of the animation that I hadn't caught the first time. So I'm glad I did it. And I need to do the same for five and six before those videos. So that was kind of part of the impetus for getting this Twitch channel set up. I was figuring like, you know, I've, I've got to play through them all again. I might as well stream it. <laughs> I'm really glad you're enjoying the Final Fantasy video essay series. I am too. I wish I could make them faster. Sorry for such a long wait in between. And yeah, Cult of the Lamb is going to be happening more as well. Again, once we hit affiliate, because all the Twitch integration stuff, I think you have to be affiliate at least for it to work. But I'm very excited to play more Cult of the Lamb. It's nice having a place to play games that are more stream friendly than YouTube friendly. It's nice. Thank you, Purple Website. <laughs> You'd rather I take care of myself and make them slower? I mean, way ahead of you. <laughs> they are taking longer in part because I am try actively trying to be, uh, being a little, pacing myself a little better. I just still, I still want to make them faster. <laughs> I want them to come out faster despite the fact that I am being more careful. Uh, let's see, was a Geo dude coming out? All right, Oddish, you can handle that. I should say I'm learning to take better care of myself. That's, that's a process. <laughs> and by take better care of myself, I mostly just mean like slow down and rest from time to time. This may not work out as a matchup the way I hoped, but... I could be wrong. Like, gosh, as a content creator on any of these sites, you have to aggressively practice self-care or you're not going to last at all. <laughs> I don't have my tea right now, but I do have coffee going. So that's working for me. And honestly, Twitch, it's so fascinating to me. Despite how similar you'd think Twitch streaming and YouTube Let's Play recording are, it is fascinating to me how many differences I'm noticing between the two. Just like the slower, easier pace of Twitch streaming, the more relaxed, just chill uh, energy is way less voice strenuous. Like on, I'm still kind of trying to learn that too. Like if I go more than five, 10 seconds without saying something, uh, in a YouTube, like, Let's Play, I start feeling like, ah, oh, this is dead air. Can't, like, say something, keep it engaging. Because you got, because, like, you really want to keep the pacing interesting and exciting for a more condensed YouTube playthrough. But for a Twitch thing, we're like, we're all just hanging out. I can be quiet for a bit, and it's fine. In fact, for some people, it might be preferable. <laughs> Local trainers come here to practice. That's exactly what I need. I, well, I mean, I too am preferring the chiller vibe. Honestly. And especially as someone who's still new to streaming and... Like, this is a lot more stuff to... Simultaneously try to keep track of at the same time. If I'm just recording a YouTube Let's Play, I can be entirely focused on the game and talking. And those two, I can... I can manage those two. Uh, here, I need to be, like, watching chat. I need to be keeping an eye on, like, activity feed. Stuff like that. Lots more to split attention across. So being able to go quiet for a second and read what y'all are saying and that sort of thing helps a great deal.
<laughs> Does making suggestions help you to like, sort of like, ease off stress of your own a bit? Cool, I I'm glad, good. Bird, stop it. Random idea for channel bit redemption when, when available. X minutes of high-pitched EC voice. <laughs> I'd need to get some bit of equipment, I think, to make that happen. And I haven't done a high pit. Like, I haven't, uh... Because, like, yeah, I, I would... That was filters and effects and stuff. I, I couldn't just do that voice on command. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually, like, uh, associate that voice with me anymore. Because, like, a lot more people knew me from extra credits than know me for current things, just numbers-wise. And I did do it for longer than I've been doing any of these other things, so it would make sense, right? That that's still what a lot of people would know? A lot of people still think that that was my <laughs> real voice in extra credits, and then they come and find my other random channel and think that my voice just radically changed. <laughs> Ooh. This is perfect for leveling, hopefully. Yeah, Book Zombie, I don't think you're alone there. I think it... But I can't move, Onyx, if you... Okay. I think it took a lot of people a while to get used to hearing my real voice. Honestly, it took me a while to get used to listening to my real voice recorded and in videos and stuff. That's right, it's that good Gen 1 bind! I'm sorry, did you want to turn? Onyx doesn't think so. When people come to play frame and learn Dan isn't downing helium like no tomorrow. Yeah, honestly, I should probably apologize for that helium shortage that we're all going through. My bad. I've stopped. Good for you, Turnip. You've learned another move. <laughs> it was me all along. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Dak took me to a great party on the SSN at Vermilion City. Anyway, I challenge you. I really like the youngster art, the attitude. Also some pretty good slowpoke art. <laughs> Again, for 24 by 24. With three colors. Black, dark pink, light pink, and transparent. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Slowpoke is water, yeah? Like water psychic? Or are they just psychic? Hmm. Easy way to find out. Good enough. But the psychic might hurt a lot if the... Yeah, that might hurt. A little bit. Yeah, maybe this is not smart. Maybe this is a good Pikachu thing. I mean, confusion's still gonna hurt, but... Yeah, man. Uh-oh. Well, if Pikachu gets fainted, then... Turnip comes back in... ...and just gets all the experience, so... ...it'll work out. Take that, youngster. All right, let's go heal up. <laughs> Do 
Hey, bridge crew, do you think you could all at least line up on one side? Use some, like, escalator courtesy. Talk to Pikachu. Ooh, talk to Pikachu at low health. Thank you for the reminder. It's not a status effect, but hey, Pikachu, how you feeling, bud? Oh, right, I forgot. You're into that. Whatever. No judgment. Come on, Pikachu. Let's heal you up. Streaming's fun, man. I see why people do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm real glad you folks are enjoying it as well. Excited to slowly just kind of witness the evolution of Pokemon animation in real time <laughs> as we go through these games. Like all the main games and a lot of the spin offs. Just getting a taste of each one. All right, poison type, which is not good for this. Let's, um. Grubbles, you got this. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to mix up my, um streaming times of day a bit while I can. Again, I've got a little bit of time off from work right now, so I'm able to do that more easily. Once I'm back to my regular schedule, which won't be too long from now, I'm guessing we're looking at like one or two evening streams a week at most. Just realistically. If I tried stream... Wait a minute. I heard Donald. <laughs> Hold the phone. Barry the Engineer, who I've hopefully said your name right. Thank you very much for that donation. Live Dan is great to have. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. It's very kind of you. But yeah, realistically, once I got the day job going again, like one or two streams at most is probably the best I can do. If I tried to stream more, even though I'm sure I would enjoy it immensely, I would not have time for <laughs> working on New Frame Plus like I want to be. Uh, another Nidorah. Well, let's just leave Grubbles in there. Yeah, apologies to European viewers, I, uh... <laughs> Would love to stream at better times for y'all. Eventually, maybe someday, that'll be feasible. Yeah, I, I do try to at least put up the VODs pretty quickly. If nothing else. I know it's not the same, but still. So many places in Europe people are watching from. That's so cool. A good evening to you folks. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Thank you very much, Book Zombie. Thank you very much for the donation. Someone was asking earlier if Donald is going to stay as the as the donation sound. Well, I don't see why not. <laughs> it can possibly change. Who knows? I've actually got several. I've got several sounds for donations and things like that for just varying amounts. I did not see who was coming up next. I'm sure Turnip can handle it. There we go. Perfect. I'm glad I came out here. This is leveling Turnip very quickly.
I still give full credit to uh, Cyclops Boy about a little less than a week ago for donating and initiating the very first Sonic Scream <laughs> alert sound <laughs> for their very generous donation. I was as surprised as everyone else because I'd almost forgotten I'd put that in there. <laughs> Apropos of nothing, have y'all ever gone and looked up just like the sound effects for Sonic Adventure 2, just like all the voice clips? Highly recommend. Um, oh, this is not the matchup I thought it was. That's okay, I can fix it. Highly recommend looking up sound effects for uh, Sonic Adventure 2 in isolation, especially the voice clips. Without any like music or any other sort of stuff, it's extremely entertaining. Like hearing the voice actor for a shadow say, just in complete silence, just the, you never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought the pod you were in exploded in space, or something like that is just extremely funny. Or just a, like, unusually weirdly casual Knuckles saying, Hey, guys. <laughs> also makes me giggle pretty consistently. From Kandarian, if you could have any guest on your channel, who would you have on? I don't even know. I hadn't even really thought far enough ahead to think about, like, bringing guests in. Like, we'll definitely be doing stuff together with Dan Jones. Like, no question. Uh, we want Turnip in for this. Don't I have water types? I don't think I do yet. I don't think I have a single water type at this point. I mean, we started with Pikachu, which is kind of the opposite. And there's a Squirtle somewhere you can get. I don't know in what town. Where do you get Squirtle? Vermilion? Okay, so like the next town over. Have we fought you yet? I don't think so. Would you ever consider a stream of interviewing or just having a general discussion with other animators, maybe from different kinds of animation as well. That could be pretty cool. Honestly, if you want, um, like, I could totally do that, but there is another community, uh, another Twitch and just, like, internet community that actually provides that kind of thing all the time. That's, like, kind of, like, one of their main things. I want to say it's, like, Amara? No, hang on. Um, Agora. Let me look, hang on. I'm going to look this up real fast. Just hold that thought. Rattata. Let me look up a link to this community where they have just, like, tons of interviews with various animators from games and film and everything else, and, like, uh... Hang on. I'll post it in chat in a second. Yes. Okay. This is what you were looking for. I just posted the link in chat right there. That is basically exactly what you've asked for, except done, like, uh, <laughs> much more frequently and professionally, and they have a ton of other resources on that side as well. So if you're, if you are a, an animator, uh, or looking to get into animation, that's, um, that's a pretty good resource to, uh, dig through and just, uh, see what sort of cool stuff you can find. Lots of great interviews with, uh, lots of great animators in there. Anyway, um, let's see. I'd give this one to Porkchop, but I don't think Porkchop's going to be any use in the gym, so let's just keep getting Grubble some extra levels. I feel like between Turnip, Grubbles, and Pikachu, we're now starting to look a lot better for that gym fight. Hang in there, Grubbles. Whoo, boy. Grubbles is a Butterfree. 
<laughs> I do hope that I'm not shooting myself in the foot later when I try to make this Pokemon video by having a bunch of nicknames in there. I guess once you get past Gen 2, who each Pokemon is becomes way more visually obvious. Yeah, like, having a Nidoking would also be great. The problem is that I've started finding it funny that I've gotten Lord Nido to level 11 without using a single move yet. This sort of, like, pacifist Nido gimmick is amusing to me. I could take notes? Wait, about what? The names? Oh yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. So like, it won't necessarily be for me and my like uh, my ability to remember. Although that is a thing that I'm <laughs> I'm hoping to learn their names as well. It's really just for like when I'm putting the uh, when I'm making videos about the animation in Pokemon games down the road using this footage. I'm hoping that the silly nicknames don't just like add more uh, kind of just visual information clutter to things instead of just having just sort of factory standard names for everybody. I think it'll be fine. Hmm, probably ought to use another. And we could walk all the way back to the darn Pokemon Center, but we'll splurge. Spend a potion on the good butterfly. Why was Butter Butterfree called Grubbles again, by the way? Well, Butterfree started as a Caterpie, which looks a lot closer to a Grub in Hollow Knight, and my usual nickname for those Grubs in Hollow Knight was Grubbles. So, an inside joke, basically. Out of curiosity, is there an animation demo reel of yours floating around out there anywhere people can go look at it? There is. I don't know if it... I might just have it unlisted. I should find a link for that. Because, yeah, I usually don't, like, just post one publicly. I usually just have my reel unlisted somewhere so I can send a link to potential employers. But, uh... I may not... I may have... Oh, no, I have one that's available. It's not the most current one by any stretch, but I do have one from several years ago that I think is publicly visible. Here, I'll find a link for it in a second, as soon as I finish maybe getting to use confusion on this snake. Okay. One second. Let me go find my own animation reel. Nope, 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 that's not it. Nope, nope, nope. It's in here somewhere. No, don't play my own video at me. I guess it is unlisted. Hang on, uh, I can find it. <laughs> Where is the video? I've been trying to get back in the habit of, uh, hang on. I've been trying to get back in the habit of, like, actually making an updated reel once a year or so. Even if I don't have, like, anywhere I'm planning to send it, just to, just, like, as a habit to have one ready. Because you never know, like, in this sort of industry, like, uh, it can be pretty unstable. Things can happen. Studios can close. It's happened to me before. It's always a good habit to have a reel handy that you could start applying with relatively quickly. Hang on, almost got it. Sorry for the wait. 
There we go. There is a link to a demo reel of stuff of various animations. Certainly not all the stuff I've done, but just a... Oh, well, you know how it is with reels. Just get it down to some of your best stuff to show. Sand Shrew, huh? That seems like a good turnip fight. Yeah, I feel like that reel could use some updating, honestly. Get out of here, Sand True. Weird question, why doesn't Nintendo use the Super or Advanced moniker anymore? Like the Switch Advanced, the Super Switch? I don't know, I suppose they could. Maybe they're concerned about the, like, brand confusion? The name confusion overlap? Not that that stopped them before. Also, it might just be that those were, like... That was, like, kind of a naming convention of its time and era that maybe they don't think that's going to be quite as cool and appealing sounding now as it was in the 80s to 90s window. Oh, Charmander. It's an opportunity for you. Yeah, I did get to do a little bit on Halo Infinite, although I should, like, qualify it. it I was... I pitched in a small amount toward the end. A very small. Like, even the stuff of, that of like, in there, in that reel that involves Infinite, like, I was helping out with, like, layout and scene assembly. Like, other folks were doing... Like, I put on, like, the last 5% of animation polish and stuff on top of those. That, that was a... That, those clips represent a lot of people's work. Are we getting raided? Path of Briar, thank you. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Pokemon Yellow. We're slowly playing through just about every darn Pokemon game. <laughs> well, not all of it. We're just playing through enough of it to see it all the animation. It, it's hard to explain. We're playing Pokemon Yellow. Welcome. And thank you very much, Path of Briar, for the raid. Kind of you. I'm Dan. <laughs> what do you say when you get raided? I'm still somewhat new to this. A Pidgey? Fine. Wouldn't mind another level on Pikachu. Did I work on the Mater short? I've worked on a 
few. Uh, because there were like a lot of them. They did a lot of uh, like Pixar made a lot of like Mater Tall Tales shorts for a stretch there, and I worked on what were they? Uh, Air Mater, Time Travel Mater. Uh, shoot. I feel like there were more. We did a few really short, tiny ones called, like, Tales from Radiator Springs. I th I also got a hand-on... It wasn't a Mater short, I don't think. I think it was, like, the Radiator Springs 500 and a half or something. Like, something of that sort. So, yeah, I worked on several Cars and Toy Story shorts. Which was wonderful. I forget who they just said was coming out, but we'll find out together. I see. Yeah, no, I, I feel super lucky to have gotten to get in a few years working at Pixar when their uh, Pixar Canada location existed. It was a wonderful work experience. Yeah, I, I too really enjoyed Party Saurus Rex. Of, of, like, of all the shorts I got to work on there, I think that's probably my favorite as well. It was just very fun. Atish, please stop beating up my fire type. It's embarrassing. Did Pixar do any animations for, like, Disney theme park attractions, or did the Imagineers do that in-house? I honestly don't know. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if some in-house folks contributed, but it could be also that that is done, like, that they bring in some other studios or contract some individuals. I don't, I'm not sure. I actually have no idea. No, I'm curious. Like, I've known, I know some people who've worked on theme park, like, animations for the theme parks. But I don't know a lot of details about it. We didn't get the Bulbasaur yet. We still, I think we gotta beat the gym first. You did it, Charmander. And you got a level for your trouble. Hey, Pikachu too! Alright, things are looking up. By the time we finish this run up to Bill or whoever, we're gonna be ready for this gym. And I think we might even be here. What's what's past here? Well, you know what? We'll find out in a second. Hello, Sea Cottage Bill. So, um, uh, <laughs> wow, they even have sort of like <laughs> surprise Pikachu face in here. <laughs> so, um, Very confusing. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. I mean, sure. sure. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC Run the cell separation system. It really does add a lot having little follower Pikachu go and like do things and express. Like this is a sort of thing that wouldn't, as far as I understand, really come back and start happening in these games for a while. It's kind of cool seeing an early experiment. So, did it work? <laughs> Goodness, very surprised Pikachu. Yeehaw, thanks bud, I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't, that's a bummer. I gotta thank you. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. 
That cruise ship, SSN, is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go in instead of me? Very well, I accept their invitation. It's in Vermilion City, its passengers are... Blah, blah, blah. Right, okay, yes. Pikachu, we're going. You ready? No? I'll explain it on the way, Pikachu. Come on. We gotta get everyone healed up. We're doing a gym fight. Do 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 do. Just taking the back way. <laughs> we should. All right, let's try the Bulbasaur just in case. Pikachu, how are you feeling? Pretty bouncy. I'm not seeing any hearts yet. My understanding is we need like to see a heart. Still not 100% sure, but we'll double check. Just in case. Was it this house? I don't think it's this house. This house has been ransacked. This is a problem for later. There's this house down here. I take care of injured Pokemon. I nursed this Bulbasaur back to health. It needs a good trainer to take care of it now. Man. Well, that's fine. Turnip has earned this opportunity to do war in the water gym before getting replaced. Oh, the heart should be over Pikachu's head while just walking around? Oh, okay. Well, we're definitely not there. Come on, Pikachu. I think it might be time. Yes. Yes, it is. You're a trainer, too? Collecting, fighting... It's a tough life. Tell me of this gym, sir. Yo, champ in the making. Here's my advice. The leader, Misty, is a pro who uses water Pokemon. You can drain all their water with plant Pokemon or zap them with electricity. Thank you for the pointers. So let's, all right, let's look at the state of things. Turnips at 17, solid. Grubbles at 17, also solid. Pikachu at 19. I feel like let's keep Turnip up front because Turnip can do damage and also withstand it for the most part. Yeah? Unless we get hit with, like... Does Starmie have confusion? Starmie has some mean things. And is weirdly tanky, if I recall. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, we've got an emergency Pikachu, like, break in case of glass. <laughs> I'm first up, let's do it! Let's go, swimmer. Pretty cute sprite art. Be absorbed. <laughs> Turn up, you're untouchable. Yeah, good pointer yesterday, chat, on the, uh, Hey, go up, go up north, catch an Oddish. <laughs> this is working out.
Now that it's been a week or more, is the streaming cutting into your free time, or is it just an alternative to having a podcast on, like you said before? Uh, like, I'm using a good bit of free time for it, in part because I'm trying to, like, like, uh, see if we can make affiliate at least while I've got some of this extra time. And yeah, like, it's not as relaxing, I suppose, as just completely chilling out playing a game by myself without a stream on, but it's still pretty chill and fun. Like, I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm wanting to stream a lot because it's just, it's fun to do. And it's between this, really, and just chilling out playing games anyway, so I'm doing a bit of both. Hi, Shelter. Be absorbed. Almost feels unfair. Well, that's one down. One more. I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. She's right there. I'm pretty sure she's your boss. Will Carrie get a mic soon? Oh, if she wants to. What sort of thing, if, if Carrie were to do a stream, what sort of a, hey, fish? You found my weakness. Pecking. Stop. If Carrie were to do a stream, what sort of stream should Carrie do? What should Carrie play? Like, no promises. Like, she, only if she wants to, but if she did. Katamari, Doom Eternal, Dark Souls, Stardew Valley. Anything with cats? Animal Crossing, Phasmophobia. Getting a pretty wide spectrum of gaming experiences. <laughs> Anything. Comfy Games. Comfy Games seems like a good fit. Yeah, I mean, the, the answer definitely is really anything she wants to, but <laughs> I'm sure she'd be curious what interests folks. Yeah, oh, Little Kitty Big City, when that comes out, we're doing that on YouTube for sure. And she should definitely be the one controlling it, I think. That feels correct. Let's go be all topped off and ready for the big fight. Given how smoothly the trainers went, I think we're all right here. <laughs> Having seen Carrie conquer Celeste, it really would be fun to see her attempt Dark Souls just to see how she actually handles, her uh, handles herself. Yeah, I do wonder. Like, she is a lot better at games now than when, like, she started joining on Playframe. Even just over the course of that Celeste playthrough, it was pretty impressive seeing how much more in control she was getting from episode one to the finale. Beacon Pines is releasing tomorrow, and we do have plans for that. It's exciting. All right. This is it. The moment. We've all been building to. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. Are you ready, sweetie? The battle begins!
All right. Absorb till the end of time. Unless, I guess we could attempt like a sleep powder on some, like, star me when it comes out. For goofs, but uh... That's true, throwing out, throwing out an X defend on move one doesn't seem to line up with that all-out attack strategy. Maybe she was throwing me off my game. A feint. Have I heard of Motherwellen Z? He's a, uh, she's a Canadian YouTuber who does long plays of story-based games? I haven't. Good name, though. Motterwellens. <laughs> All right, let's see how the Starmy fight goes. You got this, Turnip. Twenty-one. Woof. It's gonna take a bit. We'll get there. Why are you using Harden over and over? This is the most defensive fight I've seen yet. The rock type gym wasn't this defensive. Are you luring me into a false sense of security? What are you doing? Misty. What's happening? Misty, your Pokemon. What are you doing? Misty, you have one more turn to use an offensive move. I feel like I should just give you a free shot. Okay. <laughs> What are, are you taking a dive? Has someone been placing bets on this fight? Is that allowed in this world? What just happened? <laughs> I've never had that fight go that easily. I can't believe I lost. Why? What did you think was gonna happen? You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. Maybe she just has like a surplus of the things. She ordered too much. The Cascade badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders. There's more. You can now use cut anytime. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. You can also have my favorite TM. Harden? What does it do? Well... That was something. <laughs> yeah, and I think we're all feeling very confused Pikachu face right about now. Wow. So, um... I guess that goal is accomplished. I don't know how, like... I don't know if that's going to impress Bulbasaur. Would Carrie ever play a series by herself, like Stardew, perhaps? I don't know, it's entirely up to her if she wants to. So, like, possibly? If she was ever feeling it? Alright, well, Bulbasaur? Are you interested? I take care of injured Pokemon to nurse his Bulbasaur back to health. Needs a good trainer to take care of it now. Yeah. I'm not sure we're getting this Bulbasaur.
Well, um... Hmm. <laughs> it's kind of anticlimactic, huh? I guess we could try the potion spam thing. Do that for a little bit. What do you think, Pikachu? If I feed you a potion. Okay, well, sure, but if I feed you a potion... But consider, if I fed you a potion... Pikachu, are you thirsty? Here, have a potion. Pikachu? Guess we can just do this for a while. Granted, I don't know how long we'd have to do this. This doesn't seem like good TV. Pikachu, how are you feeling? I thought you might. <laughs> Bulbasaur! What about now? I know, would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Yes! Difficult to impress. No, I don't want to nickname the Bulbasaur. Well, hooray, we got our Bulbasaur. <laughs> Please take care of Bulbasaur. Gladly. Thank you. When all else fails, cheat. I learned it from Pokemon. Well, Turnip, it's been fun, but we have a Bulbasaur now. You know, Dan Jones has done more than one 12-hour stream of just Pokemon menuing and people watched it. It is true. More than once. And to explain what they're talking about, uh, Dan decided that he was going to do a shiny only run of, I forget which Pokemon game, uh, which included meaning that he needed to get a shiny starter. Uh, which means you have to, if you don't get a shiny starter, reset and go again. And he did that. Um, what was the final count? It was thousands of just streaming that for hours and hours. Oh, Dan's here. <laughs> Dan, how many how many resets was it by the end? <laughs> it wasn't a small number as I recall. Around 20,000. <laughs> but you did it. <laughs> and if you needed any more compelling an argument than that, y'all should really go follow Dan Jones over at Cause I'm Dan Jones. <laughs> also because he's lovely. So, I don't know how much further we're going to go into yellow. Now we've gotten we've gotten two of our starters. Uh, two of the uh, Gen 1 starters now in the lineup. Got our Charmander. Got our Bulbasaur. Squirtle, we'd have to go further in. We've beaten two gyms. Enough to see the two gym leaders who got, like, a sprite art overhaul. I guess a lot of them probably did, but the two that'll be most recognizable. And we've seen a lot of Pikachu behavior. I feel like we've seen most of the unique animation that Pokemon Yellow is going to offer. Seems like. And this is a lot more than I remembered of Pikachu as well. There is status ailments. All right, let's... For goofs. 
We'll start walking toward Vermilion and see if we can get, uh, Pikachu, like, hit with anything. Ah, I've created another Vampire Survivor's Addict. That's just how vampires work. Oh, I need to teach someone cut, don't I? I do. Well, Bulbasaur, I guess you are the one. Well, hang on. Wait, do you have to teach anyone cut or do you just, hang on. I don't have cut yet. Oh, I can use cut, but I don't have cut yet. I see. Right, 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 right. I forgot that's how it worked. Right, there's the house in the top right. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm remembering now. It's all coming back to me. I am very curious to go from this one to Pokemon Silver and just see what kind of upgrade it comes with, animation-wise. These poor people here were robbed. We're positive that Team Rocket is behind this. Terrible deed. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. <laughs> you know, I appreciate that in this difficult time, you're still up for some good wordplay. Really rolling with the punches. Those miserable rockets. Look what they did here. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle, it did. Dang. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? No. Mr. Rocket, do you have any status effects you could maybe throw out? On my Pikachu? Well, here. Um. Pork chop, handle this. Oh, thank you, Icon, for short. Thanks for dropping by. Have a good rest of your day as well. Machop, excuse me. Oh, this is like, wait, no, sorry, I got confused. Why am I throwing pork chop in this fight? That makes zero sense. Uh, Grubbles, I think this is you. Yes. Stop critting all the time. Ah, oh, most so close. Quit it. Get tackled by a butterfly and faint. About to use a drowsy. All right, this could be something for our very strange goals. <laughs> Look at how schemey Drowsy looks. Don't faint in one hit, all right, Drowsy? Okay, we're fine. That's not helpful, Drowsy. Do like a sleep or something. No, hit us with a status effect, Drowsy. Come on. Bud. Drowsy. You know... Maybe I'm just wrongfully assuming that given your name, you would have a move for, like, making me fall asleep. Shows what I know. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. And now it's mine. I better get moving. Bye! 
So, like... I mean... I should return this. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. You can just do that? Alright. So, um... Wait, what's down here? Oh, and another way, like, kind of back into town? Or around it? No, oh, around it. Pressing B during evolution cancels the whole process. Yes. We're, at, we're heading south from here now, right? Generally. Cool. All right. I assumed so. But I am a little bit curious as to what... Oh. South it is. To Vermilion! And a status effect, potentially. And as soon as we get a status effect, we'll... Okay. We'll, uh... Call it. For Pokemon Yellow. Rat, you can't do statuses. I guess we could get Squirtle. I don't think it's necessary for, like, footage needs. I should probably get Gabbro back in the party, though. Given where we're headed. Get low-kicked, Rat. That's right with your nonsense. Oh, I will be catching them all in that I'll be getting footage of all the Pokemon games. <laughs> First several hours. Just use clips from the anime of Ash getting Squirtle. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. I run a daycare. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? I guess we could leave Nito here. <laughs> now nah, I'm good for now. Odds are I'll forget them, but maybe later. Um. What do we got here? Underground path, Cerulean City to Vermilion City. Oh, cool. Well, let me actually, like, heal up a bit. Porktop took some hits. Yeah, a little bit of a pain getting to the daycare. I guess it'll be less so once I know cut. I probably won't launch into uh, Pokemon Silver right away. I am guessing. We'll just do some more, like, chill fun streams of miscellaneous things until we get to Affiliate. And then stuff like Cult of the Lamb and Final Fantasy V. I think once we've got Final Fantasy V wrapped, it's, uh... It's gonna be a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> I might do more streaming later today, honestly, if I feel like it. Like, maybe hop into... I need to play through Monster Hunter Rise to get to Sunbreak, to get footage of that. And now it sounds like they've, like, added some gear so you can get through base game Rise way faster. That would help. Oh, listen, I am always up for some more Holocure as well. It does not take much convincing to get me to play more Vampire Survivors. Or hollow gear. In any situation. Defender gear? Alright, perfect. Yeah, it's good. Like, stream seemed like the great place for Monster Hunter to go. It never really gets a lot of views on YouTube, and it feels more like a streaming game. So I'm glad I'm glad we got a place for it. Alright, Nito, you practice your pacifism in here. Thank you. And while we're withdrawing here, let's just take a moment to appreciate our very good names. We have Big Gulp, 
the uh, Bellsprout, Kirby the Clefairy, Sandrew the Sandshrew, Pinchy the Paris, Teef the Zubat, Lady Nido, self-explanatory, Nibbles the Rattata, and Kazooie the Pidgey, and Gabbro, the Geodude who we need to get in our party, and Turnip the very strong Oddish who really just did work in that gym. Granted, that gym also just kind of defeated itself, so I don't know if I can take full credit, but Turnip was the one on the front line for it, so... Just a victory by forfeit, which I've never seen before. Could I do a video on Charge Blade transformation animation? I don't know if, like, if I... Really, you could dig into a lot of just the weapon handling and transformation stuff in Monster Hunter. There's, there's so much that one could talk about in Monster Hunter, <laughs> animation-wise. And I'm sure I will down the road. And play friends can help with Monster Hunter Rise, too. That's true. I could, like, once I get in there and pass the first few uh, missions, I could probably just go ahead and create a lobby. People can hop in. We can burn through it real quick. Assuming I don't just have friends on who are already eager to be joining in for that. They'll get first dibs, but... Gabbro, you're healed up, right? Nothing that matters. I think we're done. Now we should try to get the status effect on the Pikachu. We can do it. That's true. We could get Barry in here. Dan could bring in Lady Jingle. And I got various other friends who know their way around Monster Hunter. Better at, far better at it than me at this point, which I'm proud of. I may be the person in my friend group who started, who like became a monster, like became a fan of Monster Hunter earliest. I was playing it on the original PS2. But like, I have since been surpassed by pretty much all of my friends who play Monster Hunter. And I got no problem with that. I'm just happy it's just out of nowhere become as massive a series as it is now. I never expected it to be such a huge hit. So wait, so is this the shortcut or is this the shortcut to the... Let's find out. Um. Hi, do you have Cubone? Want to trade it for Machoke? No. That's too bad. Well... So that tunnel, I'm guessing, leads to Vermilion. Are, is this just, like, closed? Are we not allowed through here? I bet this is closed. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty. Though. Oh, wait here. The road's closed. Dang. Okay, well. I don't need your road. I have a road of my own. So the sign says. What do you think about streaming bl uh, playframe video editing process? You could show us how you edit videos, explain the process. I don't know how enjoyable it would be to watch. It could be interesting to see. I've thought about it. But yeah, I don't know exactly how enjoyable it would be to watch. It's just a long stretch of hallway. <laughs> With fun tunes. People often lose things in that underground path. Oh, no, I bet there's stuff down there I could just pick up and... Yeah, it's fine. Uh, my Iceborne video with Lance against Tigrex turned you into a Lance main. <laughs> oh, good. I've bounced around with a lot of Monster Hunter weapons. Started with uh, Great Sword way back in the day. Eventually shifted to Charge Blade. Kind of have bounced around between Bow, Lance, Charge Blade again. I think that's kind of back where I've settled for Rise. It's just such a fun weapon. I'm doing this out of love. Leave me alone. <laughs> Ooh! Do you think your weeping bell could potentially do a status effect or two? I'll give it a turn or two. Not what I was looking for. Weeping bell. Come on. Oh yeah, I've done Switch Axe for a little bit as well. I think I've dabbled in most of them. A little bit.
Come on, Weeping Bell. I, I know you gotta have something poisony or a stun spore, sleep powder, something. No? Okay. Well, as long as we're not getting what we want from this fight, we might as well share the experience around. I don't really know if Charmander's gonna be able to quite bring it home at this level. Could be fun to see. What do you think, Charmander? Yeah, we'll see. Hey, all right. Ah. Uh, well, this probably won't work, but it depends on what Weeping Bell uses. Of course. I mean, When do I get a turn, though? Weeping Bell. Good old Gen 1. Are you kidding? Weeping Bell. It's a matter of principle at this point, Weeping Bell. Oh, now you use poison powder. Get out of here. <laughs> Yay. Levels for you, little buddy. Yeah. You know what? I don't think I need status effects, Pikachu. Uh, I, like, I don't need every single little thing. And if I do need more of it, I can always, like, uh, pop back into yellow for a little bit to get what scraps I need. I think we got most of the footage we really need here for Pokemon Yellow stuff for future animation videos. So let's go ahead and save it at this point, and we'll call it. And next time we're returning to Pokemon things, which will probably be a little while, it'll be Pokemon Silver. We'll have to see, like, what Gen 2 brings to the table. I'm guessing not much, animation-wise. Uh, yeah, who would we be writing? Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and call it an early stream. I might stream more later today if I'm feeling up to it, or I might just relax, but uh, I'll probably be, if not today, then probably tomorrow. Uh, and I think I might be guesting on a charity stream thing on Friday, but I don't know what time yet, so I'll try to, I'll try to like, tweet or something about that as soon as I do know. Um, yeah, silver, then crystal. Or silver, then, like, stadium and snap, and then crystal. Maybe just to break it up, since they're all kind of around that window. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Who's, who is streaming right now? Who could we, if we were to raid somebody, hypothetically? I don't know if anyone's live right now that I'm following... No, Joe Cat's on, and Will's on, and Nicole's on. So why can't I raid them? Hang on. There we go, that's better. Hmm. Could raid. We have raided Will once before. Let's raid a Joe Cat. This is the first time Joe Cat's been on at the same time I've been. And Joe, Cat, Joe Cat's doing some Slay the Spire. So that should be pretty fun. So, all right. What is our battle cry, though? It's, like, kind of between Hello and Hunks. And eventually we'll have some emotes we can actually throw in. But Hunks seems to be a pretty popular pick. 
Very well, honks then it shall be. Let me prep this here raid. It'll be commencing in around 10-ish seconds. I thank you all very, very much for joining me today for this quick little Pokemon Yellow stream. I might see you all later, potentially, but if I don't, have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you uh, potentially tomorrow. Definitely some more this week for some more, uh, some more whatever. Something fun, something chill. You know what we mean. Have a good one, y'all. And uh, say hi to Joe Cat for me. Bye!